Hey everybody, it's Bruce Nature Calls, and uh, back uh, about a year ago, there's the COVID started. Everybody went out getting as much paper, toilet paper as they could get. It was just, it was just a catastrophe. So, but I thought it'd be a great time to try out the backcountry bidet system, uh, just, just for kicks, just for grins. So I sent off to Amazon, and I got the three backcountry bidet systems that they had to offer. And this Kulo Clean is what REI also offers, but I got this on REI and this more rubbery one, this kind of hard plastic one. And they're all designed to fit on like a smart water type bottle. Um, we'll, we'll show you the fit, um, but I tried them all out and I tried them out for a long time. Um, really actually enjoyed it. So, um, but we'll go over each one and, and we'll come up with what I think is the best one of them all. But of course, we know the gram counters will just pick the lightest one, regardless of it's, if it's really the functionality is, is good or not. Um, but if you really want to go ultra lightweight, and if you're already carrying a smart water bottle with a sport top on it, that can work fairly well if you know how to use the technique to do it. So we'll go over that in a minute. But let's weigh these out just to get that out of the way. 12 grams. It's a rubbery one, 18 grams, 0.7 ounces. And then the hard plastic one is 0.3 or nine grams. Let's go ahead and check the, the sport top. Sport top is four, five grams or 0.2 ounces. The key was, is, is will they fit in the in the smart water bottle. So that one has actually two different sizes. Fits in the, the smart water bottle just great. This one is kind of tapered. So you just kind of squish that baby in there. So that also has the ability to work with different various bottle types. And then this one, that is the only, it, it will only fit the smart water bottle diameter of top so this one will not fit in a larger one and they actually had to put two extra rubber gaskets in there for this one but it is the hard plastic one. Oh, there I just lost one of the gaskets that's that's a good sign um, now these both have like a all, so all three of them all have this design where it's got like a little slit um, you know I don't I don't know if that's a big deal or not and I don't I don't see where it really makes a difference so let's show you how these work I tried to pick the least racist color of a balloon so you tip that over and you, you squirt at your butt it's like that so that one so they all pretty much work the same So that little, that little slit design isn't really doing a whole heck of a lot. So they're all they're all basically the same. Now what I found is is that I'm going to go through about half a bottle of water of this this 23 ounce size, basically because I'm going to just give it what I figured out works best is to you get the right angle then you just give it a good blast and that you are clean you are clean 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 um, but it used a good half half of the bottle of water so if you're on a water short trip or you've got a, like a long water haul this is not probably the best way to go as far as as far as um, I probably wouldn't waste my water if I was going to be doing, I just use toilet paper or whatever the normal way or a rock or, or the three shells. So, um, but, it, but it does, it does work. And I guess what the key is, is having it come up the side is to minimize the backsplash because you don't want any your fecal stuff to get on there. So. That gives you nice. You, know, you can get, you can get. I wouldn't get close. You can get be pretty far away, so you're not going to get any splash. So, but even with the, even 
with the the um, smart bottle, you're just not going to be able to get that. You have to make sure you get full of water. It's just going to be a lot more. So, so you could do it, you could do it. But there again, you're going to go through a lot more water. Um, so, I don't remember how much each one of these costs. I do know um, when I bought these, I got three. I got three different colors. Um, so that was pretty cool. So I got a red and a blue and a white. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll put all the links down below. But in my opinion, um, the, this plastic one, I don't like anything that could break easily. And I think this could break easily, this hard plastic one. Um, and it only fits one bottle size. Uh, the Kulo Clean, which I think is fine because you're still holding it out quite a bit of ways. Um, if you're at all concerned about splashback, this one would get the most splashback. I don't think that's going to happen. So now this one, I, it's, it's not going to break. Easy to find. It accomplishes the splashback issue. It's multi-bottle size. So personally, I think this is the one to go with. It might be a gram heavier than the Kulo Clean, but it's just, um, I, think, I think, the way to go. So I'll put the link to this one down below. It'll be the first one first link but when you use one of these and you learn how to use one it it, it really you're completely clean you're you're totally clean so then you use your toilet paper to you know dry yourself off or if it's a nice sunny day you can run around and dance or whatever but the toilet paper is completely clean and then you can take that toilet paper and put it in like a baggie to throw away another time um, around here some of our more popular hikes are just getting ruined by people um going to the bathroom everywhere. I mean, it's really horrible. Um, you go off trail to go to the bathroom and you're among hundreds, hundreds of toilet paper clumps everywhere. Um, it's, it's just, it's so nasty. So I think that when I go on a, a real popular hike, I'll be going this way as long as I have the water to replenish my, my drinking water supply. All right, so there it is, the backcountry bidet. Um, comparison, how to use it. Um, yeah, I think, I think it's, it's, it's a really great way to go if you've got the water. So, all right, let's take these out on the trail. Bye now.